In this video, we're going to go through how to configure your Samsara alerts. The first step is going to be navigating to cloud.samsara.com and going to your overview. Now at the bottom left, let's hit settings. And we're going to want to go into your org settings under alert contacts to set up all of the people that will be alerted. To add a contact, hit add contact, first name, last name, phone for text and or call and email and hit save. Once your list is done, let's go back to the industrial tab. In your maps, what you'll be able to see once you configure your alerts is if there's any active alarms going on, you'll be able to see that by the color based on the threshold that you set. Now, you can also see the activity log for an asset here by going under the activity page. If I filter for when I know an alarm that went off on this asset, you'll see the full list here under activities once it loads. Here's the full list. You can click in and analyze more detail, but we'll go through that a little bit later. Now, if you hit your bell, you'll be able to see active alerts here. Let me go to another org to show you there's active alerts. Here's the events, all the events in the past day. You can say last seven days and it goes all the events versus these are all active. Click into the active alert. You could see when it was triggered and you can even acknowledge it here or you can even edit the alert and edit the threshold if you don't want it to be this low. An audit log will show you when an alert was triggered, who acknowledged it and all of that that you can report on by exporting the log as a CSV file. To filter it, go to the right time period. You could select the days or choose these options. Now, let's actually set up an alert. To create an alert, you hit create. You have four types, data inputs, battery level, gateway connection, and fault codes. Now, if you go to configure alerts, you can see all of the ones you've already set up. You could toggle this on and off if you don't want it to be going off, but you still want it to be created. So then the next time you want it to go off, you'll toggle this green. So you click in, create an alert. Let's do a data input. So what you'll do is you'll select the data inputs that you want it to alert off. So I'm going to choose this data input and then you can see what the value is. So for example, configured alerts here. Let's go to one that has actual values. Low water. You can see here they're at five right now and the threshold is at two. You can select multiple data inputs to alarm on the same one. You can also disable these alerts. Now they will still be live in the log and in the maps, but they won't actually call or text or email the person. Let's say you want, don't want them to get a call while they're sleeping. You can disable it from the notifications. You can set multiple conditions for the alert as well, a low, and this is the color you would see if the alert is going off in the maps view. A low is 15, high is 45, let's say medium is 30. And you can set your notification people here. Add the recipient here, the drop down, select them or type in their name. And then you can see this. If you want it to apply to all the conditions and not have to set it one by one, hit apply all and you'll see that the notifications actually applied all of their settings to down below. You can say notify after this alarm has been going off for immediately one minute, 30 minutes or custom, depending on the severity. And you can even repeat this until it's been acknowledged, however often you would like. You can set it custom as well. Blue means that you chose this person to be texted, called or emailed. Let's say Ajit should be texted and called, but Nick should only be emailed. Hit save.
Now, what you can do is you can also put alerts on your dashboards to visualize. One example is to select the KPI or grid type of dashboard. And this is a single value. Here's for voltage. If you want it to be warning, let's say you want 300 to be a warning, because it's at 480, it'll turn color. Let's see. And then if it's alert, 400, it would turn red. Let's go into one and we can actually do that together. So low level alarm. Click here. Here, it's five right now. So you can warn if it's at four or three, but then alarm if it's at four, then it'll turn red. So you can set up the colors here. You can also set up the colors in the SCADA type of dashboard. Also, you can set the color to be based on an existing alert that you already added. So this one, this low level, you could see it was already added. So let me reset this. I'm actually gonna choose an existing data input alert, low alarm, and it sets and it already will have the color. Or you could set the threshold manually here and say if it's, if it's one, neutral, if it's two, have it go medium, and it'll change the color. That's how you set up alerts and how you visualize them on the dashboard. In addition, it's how you would visualize them on the map. And you can also see the history by going to any asset and going to the activity to see which alerts have gone off on this asset in a specific amount of time.